Today I'm going to talk about the amazing, wonderful, soft coat of the Ragdoll Cat. My name is Cat, and welcome to Ragdoll Love. We're the channel that's all about helping you raise your Ragdoll Cats to live long, happy, and healthy lives. The Ragdoll Cat is essentially a long-haired cat. Very soft, luxurious, fluffy, very attractive coat. It's one of their finest features. The rag doll has around the neck, a very floofy ruff around the neck. Duffy's uh, ruff here is, is evident now at his age. He's slightly more than, than one year of age and as he grows to full maturity at four years of age, this ruff around his neck, <laughs> the ruff around his neck will get even bigger and fluffier. In general, ragdolls really aren't prone that much to matting. Uh, these cats are very young, so we've never had a problem with matting. But my last ragdolls, I did find as they grew older that matting did become a bit of the problem, particularly around the neck area and in the lower tummy area. So those were just areas that occasionally you may need to take some time, especially with your older cats. If you're the type of person who does not like to have a cat that sheds a lot, maybe a ragdoll is not for you. Uh, not that the ragdoll I don't think sheds any more than any other cat or any long-haired cat, but you're definitely going to have fur around the house. I definitely have dust bunnies and cat dust bunnies rolling around at any given time on my floors. I sport a light coat of um, white cat fur on my clothing at any given time and my furniture usually has a nice light coat of of cat hair on it at any given time as well. What's the answer to the shedding? Well, you have to learn how to live with it and how to cope with it if you are planning on having a ragdoll cat in your home. There are ways to control it. Number one, vacuum often. Get a good vacuum that's easy to use. You can pull it out, do a quick vacuum on your furniture and your floor. Uh, keep their sleeping spots like their cat condos or favorite blankets or chairs cleaned up. I use a Dyson and I find it's fast to use and really sucks up the cat hair and does a great job. Also invest in lint brushes, a lot of lint brushes. Lint brushes are cheap, they're easy to use, they're a simple answer to uh, keeping your clothing clean and free of cat hair and your furniture. I have lint brushes hanging on a hook by each of the entrance doors in our home. Best way to clean furniture is uh, I use a lily brush or a lint brush is good. A one-way velvet brush is also good. Uh, sometimes just a slightly damp cloth and that actually does an amazing job of cleaning up the furniture. But you definitely have to be tolerant of cat fur on your furniture and on your clothing and in your home. I like to use uh, just a little cheap slicker brush on my cats. They really like the feel of it. It's not too harsh for them and they really seem to like it. It picks up the excess fur. If you're able to do it once a day, that's great. Once a week, once a week, maybe a couple of times a week should be sufficient to pick up, <laughs> pick up the loose hairs. And it does a really nice job of of making them look good and feel good too. I like to give my cats a little treat after they've been groomed. Uh, good idea to start your cats when they're very, very young for grooming so it doesn't become a task that they dread. Because the ragdoll is a long-haired cat, do I need to bathe them often? And my answer is no. You can if you wish, but I really wouldn't recommend that you bathe them very often unless you have a specific purpose, whether they have doo-doo on their pantaloons or for some particular reason. Occasionally is fine, um, but it's not necessary to keep their coat in good condition. But if you do bathe them, make sure that you use a shampoo that is specifically for cats, not a shampoo for dogs or your shampoo or dish detergent or laundry detergent. 
Hairballs can be an issue with any cat, not specifically with a long-haired cat like the ragdoll. I don't find that my cats actually are over nearly a year and a half old and they are yet to produce a hairball. It really doesn't have anything to do with the length of their fur. The, uh, the cats should have enough digestive enzymes and good enough digestion to take care of any excess fur that they swallow when they are grooming. If your cat does have a lot of hairballs, I would suggest that it's probably as a result of a diet that isn't agreeing with them and their digestion isn't complete. So it's something that you might talk to your vet about or look at changing their food because it really isn't anything to do with the length of their fur. So no, ragdolls don't produce any more hairballs than any other cat. Are dirty pants an issue with ragdoll cats more so than any other cat? And my answer is no. Again, it's back to diet. What you are feeding your cat has a lot to do with their coat. And especially on the pants or the pantaloons where they're very fluffy on the hind end. If you're feeding your cat something that's making their stools loose, then yeah, they can have really messy pants and that can be an issue. If you are planning on adopting a ragdoll cat or several cats, having hair stuck to your clothing, your furniture, and throughout your home is something that you need to be able to tolerate. If this is the sort of thing that you don't think that your personality can tolerate, do not get a ragdoll cat. It's not fair to the cat to treat them this way. They shed no more than any other cat, but it's a fact of life, cats shed, and ragdoll cats shed. Get used to having Get used to having fur in your face, <laughs> up your nose, in your face when you talk, uh, on your furniture, in your car. It's going to be everywhere. But take the time to have a routine to clean up. It's really not half bad. Uh, I don't mean to make it sound like it's an issue. I just want to be sure that, that it's something that you are aware of, of what you're getting into when you get a long-haired cat, in this case, a ragdoll cat. I like to give my cats a high quality fish oil. The fish oil helps keep their coat in marvelous condition and keeps them nice and soft and also will help cut down on the shedding as well. If you find your cat is shedding a lot and in big gobs and you find that it's a real problem, your cat shouldn't be shedding excessively. Um, in my home, we like to keep the temperature fairly consistent. So year round, we run um, air conditioning in the summer and keep keep the air, especially the humidity level, at a fairly consistent level, at a good uh, normal level, and this helps reduce their shedding as well. Their diet will affect the amount that they shed, their health, their stress level. So a ragdoll cat won't shed any more. I can guarantee you they won't shed any more than, than your average domestic cat. So don't be shy of adopting a ragdoll cat if you think that they shed more than any other cat, because that's simply not the case. The coat of the ragdoll comes in many different colors and patterns. This is Duffy. Duffy is a blue knitted ragdoll with an hourglass blaze. This is Zizi. He's a seal bicolor ragdoll and his coat is a little bit different than Duffy's. He has very fluffy and rabbit-like hair, but Zizi also has longer guard hair on his lower back, which my past ragdolls had that as well. Duffy doesn't seem to have that. So the coats do vary from cat to cat, and they're half-brothers, and their coats are also quite different. One of your ragdoll's finest features is his long, fluffy, beautiful, luxurious coat. With a little of your time and effort, it's super easy to help your ragdoll keep his coat at its very best and keeping him looking wonderful. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to show your ragdoll cat some love today.